Hello Scorpio and cross watchers alike and welcome to the February read of this current year. Mwah. Awesome. Right? Right. Anyway, Scorpio, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please check your charts. If this resonates, ah, if this resonates with you, cool. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. No reason to worry about shit that ain't about you. It ain't none of your business unless you're nosy and you want to gossip. One of the two, right? So, if you want a personal, all the info is in the description box below after the music listings. Go there for any of your needs, of course. So, Scorpio, I feel like you are slightly miffed. Not, like, nettled miffed, but, like, livid miffed, right? It's like you're restrained. It's either you or a person you're dealing with, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, who is restricting themselves from, like, being nice entirely because, like, in the situation, there might be a lack of commitment or just excommunication in general that's got somebody all pissed off. And we also have the Emperor Reverse as well. So he and the King of Swords is backwards, which means that this person is possibly a douche canoe of the finest canoe qualities. Now, in the wants and wishes, the Cherry Reverse not being able to move forward, but it's like that's because you got the thousand yard stare just focusing on other shit instead of paying attention to the fact that someone's restrictions are right here. Could be dealing with the cancer. Also, you as well, Scorpio, as well as a Pisces. However, in the obstacles and challenges, y'all, we have the temperance card reverse as well as the six of pentacles, which is like, you know, there's a little bit of impatience where people aren't coming together to discuss or even evaluate the whole purpose of, like, balance and shit, right? The fears and rejections over here is the nine of pentacles reverse with the ten of pentacles. Someone doesn't want to feel by themselves when it comes to either a business venture or in the house. They don't want to feel single and trying to take care of all of the duties and responsibilities either. Um, and then how this shit starts and how it'll end is with the Emperor. Douche Canoe here, feeling pretty overburdened, especially considering there's really no commitment in the situation. Now, oh, and your beginning theme is, uh, da 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 Prince of Cups reverse, just not even focusing on any of this shit, not wanting to offer anything. To focus on a cup that he's not even going to bother touching anyway, kind of like an obsession, if you will. Uh, could be you, Scorpio and Crosswatcher, might not be. Now, for over here for this energy, right? Someone is restricting themselves from, like, being kind and stuff, or at least being sociable, because something didn't go their way, and they got caught up in the nonsense, right? Possibly with somebody from their past who they're no longer associated with, and it doesn't seem to work in their favor as well. With the situation below, with this Hierophant reverse with the King of Swords reverse, Someone's all sour pissed. Could be with a Taurus as well. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, they might be sour pissed because things didn't work their way. And they might be saying some really outlandishly ignorant shit. Possibly even using religion to make somebody look small, if you will. Um, trying to keep one in a loop as well. Trying to continue on something like it's a new cycle. Um, going up to people to make sure that stays like that. What? Oh my goodness. My friend Stephanie's calling me. We're just gonna pretend we're asleep. That's what we do in the house. Ah, bro. Oh, well, there's a notification. I love my friends. But I am not a social creature whatsoever. Yeah, there you go. I will get back to you in a second, Stephanie. Ugh. Alright, so now we're back in the group, right? Wants and wishes. The chariot with the king of cups. Someone can't move forward and they're keeping that shit to themselves, like emotionally wise anyway, right? Oh, well there we go. Um, that's basically because they're losing their influence on what they can control. Trying to move forward, right? So, like, they're kind of in conflict with themselves. 
it's kind of like um, they want to move forward, but that would mean losing control, so they're not going to move forward at all and, and be like all iffy in their feelings and shit while having a thousand yard stare or being like, what? Obstacles and challenges? Temperance reverse with the six of coin. Someone's impatient when it comes to like coming together with someone to figure out what's balanced, you know. I mean, they'll probably write off talking some shit for sure. Possibly about this emperor who's nothing but a burden. Scorpio and cross watches. Fears and rejection. Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. Now I need to be alone and like dealing with this stuff. They want to be released, actually. I feel like this person just doesn't want to have the responsibility, but they still want the control. Like a princess. You know, mommy and daddy, the king and queen, like they can do all of the work. I just want to have all the privileges and shit. Um, and it's getting to the point where they're kind of comfortable with being left out in the cold. Huh. wonder why that closed up for. There we go. I probably did break it. Okay, how it should start, how it'll end. The Amber Reverse is all burdened and shit. Not feeling too sassy. He needs to go inside and look at why it is he feels all burdened. Probably because he has a hard time making decisions on an emotional basis. It seems like the ending thing with someone like not wanting to do touch the cup but not wanting to deal with shit either. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They might be all in their feels and not wanting to like deal with shit. Face it head on. Alright, clarifying. Let's see. Six of Pentacles reverse up with the energy. Where, what was it again? Like the Seven of Swords and Nine of Cups. Like things turned out not to be like it. Kind of turned into a nightmare once everything started falling into place. Seems like they owe people who they shouldn't have to owe. After all the time they've spent, you know, like they want to let that truth set free, but they don't know how to let it go exactly. So they drink their problems away instead of communicating properly and healthily, I might add. Doesn't help with their happiness either. In fact, it makes them feel like they're getting dragged through the fire by somebody. Down in the situation where someone wants to keep a loop going, where I feel like they get praised or whatever by younger folk or some shit, or people who know them very well, yeah, they're not communicating either, or they're not communicating the proper things to say, or do, or whatever it is they communicate, it doesn't help anything. And the star talks about healing, but I feel like this doesn't heal anything. It's just a lot of arrogance and shit, you know, trying to get somebody to be like a sacrificial lamb in battle, and not really establishing that they are ready to let anything go just yet. I've been the wants and wishes. Someone is realizing in order to be able to move forward, they're going to have to let go of shit, but they're too scared to do that. Um, they might be facing the tower a second time. Like, if they if they got a tower moment, it's about to hit again, because apparently the bodies need buried. You know, all because they, they took the wrong kind of step. Obstacles and challenges down below. Someone's running away talking shit about the Emperor. You know, they're at a crossroads themselves with this obstacle and challenge. Yeah, because, like, I mean, they, they, they could try to go back and help this guy. But it's not going to come out in their favor. It's not going to work very well. It's actually going to be pretty detrimental. Fears and rejections. Wanting to escape because they're now comfortable being out in the cold. they rather just get themselves out of the cold, you know? I mean, they would work on something for sure, 
And they feel like there might be some justification for it, too. Or it's like the right idea. Or the right thing to do. They feel like it's the right thing to do to try to work on this stuff, right? It would help them release their heart a little bit better. I think they're emotionally attached. If not mentally attached. Let's see. How this shit starts, how it'll end, Scorpius and Cross Watchers. Somebody's look inside about why they're too like and why they're having like panic attacks over decisions and such, basically. That's what this always feels like to me. Like I would have a panic attack if there was lightning and water around my feet and I had to pick a sword. Whichever one wasn't the right one was like the bad one and it was like, oh, you know, delegation needs to be needed after all of this conflict, but I feel like someone's gonna fuck it up. Like, you might try to talk to this person about what happened afterwards, and, it, and, it, and it, it's just gonna... You're basically just gonna have to shoot your horse after you break its leg, trying to pull off some tricks and shit, man. Um, in regards to trying to get a victory with this person, I feel like. Scorpio and Cross Watchers. So, you know. There we go. Anyway. That was your reading. So, yay. If you enjoyed this or you think it'll help you out, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got to if you don't want to, but I'd greatly appreciate it, of course. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I love your faces, and I will see you next time. All right? Bye-bye.